Apparently I've got to do it the other way now. So just a reminder, for Christmas I got this American English English American Translation Guide. Now we're going to do American. America! Woo! <laughs> you do realize shoving the book in my face this kind of like helps me with the answers, right? Sorry! <laughs> Apartment building. Flats. Blocks. Block of flats. Same thing. <laughs> a beret. You mean a beret? No, a beret. Here, look. Beret. Throw your thumbs in the way. <laughs> I'm not showing you the answer. <laughs> never heard of beret. You've never heard of a beret. What is it? You okay? Obviously, you're not listening because I used it in the last video. It's a hair clip. It's a hair slide. <laughs> Caravan. We call them caravans. No, see, what you call caravan is something different from what we call caravan. A caravan is a convoy. Are you sure you're reading the right way around? Yes. Convoy is like, you know, like a group of people and things, you know, like you're forming a convoy. Yeah, and we call that a caravan. Oh. That's the point, you idiot. <laughs> and a caravan is what you sleep in and travel around in. That's an RV. <laughs> A diaper. Nappy. Yep. Eraser. Rubber. <laughs> Faculty. Is that to do with finance or health? No. This is such a common word. I would have thought you guys used it. What is it? Staff. A green thumb. Green finger. Yes. Green fingers. That's what I said. Yeah. Hardware store. Being cute. What? Being cute? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I said B and Q. What's a B and Q? It's a hardware store. <laughs> Is it just a, like a specific store? Yeah. Oh, well, it says you call them iron mongers. <laughs> a hat check girl. This is more like a 60s phrase. So why would I know what it is? You've been watching Mad Men. Cloakroom attendant. Um, information or directory assistance? Operator. No. Hmm. What does it say? Um, directory inquiries interval. Janitor? Caretaker. Yeah, I didn't know that. Janitor is to us is like a custodian, someone that like cleans up like toilets. Yeah, I know what they are. I, I have seen scrubs. <laughs> um, kerosene? Petrol or fuel. Yeah. A lobby? Reception. Mm, it says that you call Foyer. them. Foyer. Yeah. Yeah. Do you not have love seats? What? Love seats? I thought this was one. <laughs> It's for like couples to sit on and be a lovey. Wow, that hurt. A meat grinder. What's the meat grinders? Oh, it says you call them mincers. That too. Oh, so a nightstick. Trouble. What? Well, if a cop flashes his nightstick, you're in trouble. Oh, he says that you call them trunchkin. Trun truncheon. I, am I knew it was truncheon, I just couldn't remember it. I don't know what a truncheon is. It's a nightstick. <laughs> I know that now. An overpass? What, over the freeway sort of thing? Yeah. Um, it says you call them flyovers. You didn't give me a chance to answer that. <laughs> Parka? Hoodie. Apparently you call them anorex? Oh, anorex. Oh. Um, okay, when you're eating a fruit, what is a pit? It's a seed. Yeah, you guys call them stones, supposedly. Mew, mew. Round trip ticket? Return flight. Or return ticket. Yeah. Sack lunch. Pack lunch? Yeah. A tag? Label. Okay. I'll tell you that's what you called them. See, I know you're gonna know all the U words. Like underwear. Pants. Yeah, well, vacuum. Hoover. Yeah, we don't call them Hoovers. Or vacation. Well, that sucks. <laughs> or vacation. Holiday. Yeah. Washcloth. 
Hand towel? A little hand wash? It says face flannel. Ah, flannel. Way. Do people actually say face flannel? Or oh, call them flannels. Uh, zip code. Postcode. Yep. I, I think by the results of that, that I won, clearly. <laughs> just because... You watch a lot more American television than I watch British television? No. Just because I'm better than you. <laughs> no, never. You pick more obscure words. <laughs> and this was made by Brits, you know? This was, put... It wasn't obscure words, I picked normal words. <laughs> Remember, it says English to American. You speak American. And you speak British English. No, I speak English. There's no such thing as an American English. Just face it, you lost. Well, I knew I was going to lose. I said I'd lose. Exactly. I'm glad you've taken it with such grace. What's my prize? <laughs> okay, Dakota, how did you do? Let us know in the comments. Just just remember one important thing, is that no matter how many times your Americans claim it, the true English will always rule supreme. 